Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. So we just finished season one of Jujutsu Kaisen. We loved the characters. We're going to meet some more characters. I assume so. Some new characters in the movie, yeah? Yeah. Well, I don't know a whole lot about the movie, but I do know that Akatsu, I'm pretty sure the name is, the one that's referred to a lot in the first season of Jujutsu Kaisen by like Toto and some of the others. He's going to be like one of the main characters in the movie. Okay. And Gojo's on the thumbnail somewhere as well. So he's probably going to be in the movie. <laughs> that's all I kind of know though. Me too. I, I really haven't heard anything about this movie, mainly because I haven't wanted to seek out information. It's kind of nice to just go in blind sometimes. Yeah, definitely. But I do think it's a prequel. Yeah. Um, this like happens all before season one of Jiu-Jitsu that we've just watched. Yeah, so we can probably eliminate characters like Yuji and mm -hmm. maybe Megami Nobara. That's right, Nobara. Yeah, we could probably assume that the second years like Toto, Mai, Panda, all them, you know, Maki, they'll yep. probably be in it because we first heard Akatsu's name when they were introduced as characters in Jujutsu Kaisen as well. So okay. we probably assume that they're going to be in it. But look, what I'm expecting is just some more hype moments, some epic fighting. There was never really a dull moment in Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1. It was kind of really fast-paced the whole way through. Especially the fight scenes. Yeah, the fight scenes, the music. So I'm kind of expecting much of the same. As for the plot, I'm not too fussed what it is. I just want to be entertained. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be entertained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure I will be. I mean, an hour and, what, 45 minutes of Jujutsu Kaisen is probably going to be epic. A lot of you guys would have seen this probably in the cinema. This did come out about a year ago in the cinema, I'm oh, pretty one sure. Year. Yeah, at least. But it only recently came out on the streaming services, like Crunchyroll and stuff. So we're going to watch it now on the channel. This will probably be the last Jujutsu Kaisen video. There might be one more mm -hmm. until season two, which is definitely coming out next year. It's been confirmed. I'm pretty excited about that. But we just want to say a massive thank you to all of our Patreon members. And if you guys are interested in the full length reaction to this movie, Make sure to check out our Patreon down below. I'll also leave the links to my Spotify and our Instagram down there if you guys want to follow us there as well. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Katsu, you were right. Mm. I saw her on the poster. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with this dude? Look at his eyes. Yeah, he seems all weird. Oh, oh. Suffered grave injuries, did it say? Yeah. Any time they go near him. No, he was trying to warn them. Okay, shit. Okay, we're starting off dark. Hmm. Okay, I didn't realize we were watching a horror movie. What was the name of the curse? Rika? Was it? Oh, this is the place Gojo took, um... Yeah, Yuji at the start. Yeah. Gojo's trying to recruit again. Hmm. <laughs> Did he do that? The curse. He's so traumatized, the poor kid. What's well, so the curse is trying to like protect him? Okay, so this will be the premise of the movie. How to control his powers. Yeah, I like the song too. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately we've had to mute it though for the for the reaction. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry about that. Yeah. It's picking up. Yeah, Carly, they've they've hit me already with the music. <laughs> This is so good. Mm. The music is so good. Does he not remind you of Junpei a little bit? I was going to say that. Yeah. Similar sort of thing. Yeah. Like a basic looking character, but you know, a little bit mellow and quiet. Yeah, there they are. Oh, oh Maki looks different. Yeah. So does he. I think they've got different hair. <laughs> She's channeling her in a my. <laughs> Pe 
band is so triggered. They all are. Oh, they can sense it. <laughs> okay, we all right. <laughs> Too late now, you're already here. <laughs> oh my gosh, Gojo. Oh, just that. Oh, that's what he wears around his yeah. neck. Yeah. Isn't it a little young or like. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay. Oh. I don't know if he signed up for this. <laughs> Did she die just now? Oh. oh, she got run over. Oh my gosh. Okay. So she turned into the, the cursed spirit. Okay, so she protects him now. Okay, that's so messed up. Yeah, but how did how did she get created? Maybe she was already cursed. Maybe she, he created her because of what he was feeling. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> He's caught on quick. <laughs> oh yes, good old kelp. <laughs> Wanted to know why that panda could talk. Yeah. <laughs> is she gonna be? Yeah, she's salty as about that. Come on, Maki, don't be doing this shit. Be nice, ah. Oh. <laughs> it's like the first impression. It's a nice conversation starter. The veil. Yeah. About to get real. I kind of like it when Gojo gets serious. Mm -hmm. it reminds me of Goku. You know, Goku's all crazy and then gets serious. I was just about to say that. It's magnificent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh shit, Maki. <laughs> He doesn't know all that yet. <laughs> She's trying to play it cool. What did she expect though when Gojo brought him in? Mm. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. Ah. Oh. No, she's screwed. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, well. What the heck? Okay, they're going to do some damage from the inside. Because when he's attacked, she comes out. Oh, the kids. <sighs> She's feeling it too. Oh no, well she got cut on the way in. Yeah. 
Oh no. Oh, she really also, badly too. She also doesn't have cursed oh. energy. This is what he needs. Yeah, he needed a firm hand. Mm. Gojo did that on purpose, hey? Oh, and he revealed it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Mate's about to get messed up. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's gonna come in handy, I think. <gasps> oh yeah. I hope she doesn't see him Fantastic. with Maki get Where jealous. Are the kids? Oh, they've got the kids. Oh yeah, she could get jealous of Maki. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> nice one. Oh, they're all like so messed up though. I'm loving the soundtrack, seriously. Mm. <laughs> I had a childhood friend like this. Her name was Lucy. You know Lucy? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that serious though. This, ah. Yeah, this is what I was saying, right? Yeah, you were. Well, because they can't, like, transform. Like, they can't die and then... Aww. That's sad. That'll oh, be, nice. like, her coming to a true end for him. But it's got to be done. Oh no, is this ghetto? I've seen his stupid haircut. That a testament to his power? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, okay. it must be. Because we know he's gifted from what Toto was what? saying. Akatsu's execution? Well, it's similar to Yuji. Yuji. Yeah, it's Kuna. They just want to kill everyone. Well, yeah, because Rika, whatever her name is, is dangerous. Yeah. We've seen this place before. Yeah. Oh, he gets a sword. Okay. That's sick. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So he's going to borrow her cursed energy or use it through the sword. Yeah. Oh, boy. Why does he have to go against Maki straight up? Best way to learn. <laughs> Get your ass whooped. It's the quickest way to learn. I don't know about the best. <laughs> he's doing all right. I think she's going easy on him, but yeah. No distractions. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay. Almost had her. Not really. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's my favorite character. <laughs> Just wait till he learns how to fight properly because he's got the, got the power there. Yeah, the potential. What? What? What's going on? Discovered a revelation. Oh, and a panda. He wants to introduce him to Toto. Oh, 
年で唯一の二級術師、単独での活動も許されてんの。Mm. He's a head. 言葉に呪いがこもるのさ。見た方が早いよ。呪いを解くなら、まずは呪いを知らないじゃね。Just wait till he hears mustard leaf. Oh, it's all over then. 本来解けだけで足りる仕事だから、気楽に行きな。君が気をつけるのはただ一つ。理科は出すな。Oh, don't.、Mm. So he wants to teach him control. Well, I think he just wants him to use his、uh, energy, sorry. Oh, yeah.、Oh. When he speaks too much, you know. I reckon he's a boss. He's a bit of a boss, Toge. He's got this, this cool presence about him. Yeah, he does. I reckon he's got like a really cool sneaker collection for some reason, too. Sneaker? Yeah, I feel like he's got a little bit of style to him. Okay. We haven't、Can、heard that one before. Black row? Yeah. What the heck? It's like it's underwater. Yeah, what the heck? What the heck? That won't do too much damage to him because of how weak they are. <laughs> See what、are、I'm saying? Serious. Oh, his voice is all, yeah. Oh, it actually did. Well, there w a s so many of them. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, this is an interesting. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Wait, who was that? It's in Oscar. r No. Oh. I saw someone smile、oh, before.、No. Who was that? I'm gonna tire out his voice. Oh gosh. Again, it's all up to, yeah, our new jiu jitsu mate.、Oh, the medicine. No, man. Can't do an o s c a r like that, Carly. I'm so sorry. It was the eyes. That's it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's all he's got to say, Salmon. No, Togo's a boss. I like him. Nice one. Character development already. Yeah. Yes. He's your typical shonen character. Yeah. Cue heroic music. You know, it's about to get real. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here we go. He's doing it. He's going to put Maki's sparring practice to use here, I think. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he blocked it? Not strong enough. Oh, it's getting closer. Oh, no. Yeah, yep.、Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Never thought drinking medicine could be so boss, but it is. I know, right? Oh, my. They're all getting their moments, and I love it. There you go. Yeah, let's go. Toge getting some screen time. Yeah. Mustard leaf. What did I say? Understands him now. Remember, he was saying, I don't really get him, so he's scary. Yeah. Aww. No. It is him, Angelo. Just lurking around as usual. Look, he works hard. He's on top of all of it. He knows everyone's business. He's like Gossip Girl. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, she likes him. Yeah. Or maybe not. Uh, oh. Yeah, she doesn't have any. Touchy subject for her. Yeah, but she's a boss without it. She doesn't... 100%, yeah. yeah. She doesn't need it. He smells ghetto. Mm hmm. He smells a rat of some sort. Yeah, he probably smells like shit. Gojo's got a serious face on. Mm. Pretty good. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. It's a piece of shit. Oh, please tell me we get more of Ghetto. I know I hate him, but I need to know more. I agree. Did we know that he was a Jujutsu Sorcerer? I don't think we had that confirmed. Or at least I don't remember it. That's interesting. I think we assumed, though, because, you know, the way he was talking about them and... Mm. Yeah. Did he just rename this lady? Yeah. That's the sort of man he is. That's wrong. Okay. Okay, Ghetto's got some moves. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, this lady's being really ignorant. But, like, he did just help them. Oh, uh, yeah, he's got the god complex about him. He does smell like shit. You yeah. are right. And Gojo knows it. Okay. What does that translate to? It, probably a lot. It's a big number. Yeah. <sighs> so he helps them, but there's a catch? He probably gets to keep the curses somehow. Use them himself. No. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. No, Angelo. I don't like it. I don't like it. Carly, I just noticed something. Ghetto doesn't have the stitching. Oh, yeah. What the heck? I wonder what happened there. Maybe a Kotsu messed him up. Oh, I doubt it. It's probably Gojo. True. Oh, is he there now? What the heck? What is this? Oh. He could have chosen a better looking bird. Like, what the heck is that? Yeah, I don't know. It's an enormous penguin. Pelican, not penguin. Why has she got love heart nipples though? I don't understand. <laughs> Is he going to try to recruit him? He wants Rika's power. Ghetto has the worst morals. Me stupid perfect face. I'm glad it's about to get messed up. <laughs> oh my gosh. As if he'd say yes to that. It was time for some intervention from Gojo. Nanami. <gasps> Where did he come from? Okay, so he's like the Voldemort of this universe. Yeah. I see. Just a massive piece of shit. Yeah. Doesn't like the non magic folk. No. Uh, Ghetto's got some really bad people skills. Oh, 
12月24日、日没と同時に、我々は百鬼夜行を行う。Oh, this was the event that was spoken about a few times、oh. in season one. Who's this? Goose. Oh, you want crepes after you just declared war? She must feel protected by him, you know? He grabs the leg of the pelican too. Doesn't even go on the back. Such a power play. Thirty per cent. Oh, getting a kotsu on their side. Yeah, that's what we saw before in the little sphere thing. Is that what he's trying to do with Gojo? Trap him and swallow him? <laughs> Must be. <laughs> she's such a boss. Thank goodness she's out of there.、Mm. <laughs> yeah, you are. The female characters in this show are so good. <laughs> She's like, did I really just inspire someone right yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of shipped them. But why you got to ship everyone who has a conversation, Angelo? No, you know, when there's some chemistry, I can see it. I'm pretty sure he's like 12 or something. No, he's not. <laughs> They said his age before, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, they weren't kidding. It's like Avengers. <laughs> I hate that they have a good plan. No, Gojo could do this? If so, I don't remember. I know he could transport really fast. Yeah. Yeah, okay.、Yep. Oh, Here we go. <laughs> oh no. It's gonna be stronger than they expect. Oh. Well, we, sh we know she's all right, but. Yes, Panda. Yes. We're about to get one of his modes. Come on. Like, no one messes with my monkey except for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Oh, yes, Geto's、yes. a bit of a boss when it comes to fighting. I don't want to give him any compliments right now. Yes, yes, thank you. Yep. Go off, Panda. <laughs> Or Gorilla, whichever one you are right now. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> He moved it. I、oh, know he didn't. Yes! It's okay. It's gonna really hurt him though. He acted as bait there. Oh no. No.、Oh. oh crap, oh crap. Oh my god. Oh my god.
He's got to help. Gonna have to unleash like he's never unleashed before. He's a psycho. <sighs> Gosh. He's going to go crazy. Oh, he's going to tell him to run away. No. Oh, oh. That's exactly what Ghetto wants. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, he's so angry. <laughs> That was sick. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's killing it. The animation is crisp. Yes. Yes, we hate him. <laughs> All right, go off. No, I. Something about Ghetto just always smiling just pisses me off. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, the healing's the reverse technique. You saw Sukuna do it. Right. Oh, wow. It's connected to Toge. It's the yeah. same symbol that he had on his mouth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All shit. Right. Akatsu's overpowered. <laughs> the chills on me just now. <laughs> of course oh. he's excited. I love the concept of Rika. Yes. Yeah, like protecting him mm -hmm. as a curse. Yeah, we haven't seen her fight. No. Oh, okay. Oh, she's a boss. I already knew before seeing her fight. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants that payday. Yeah. Miguel's getting his ass whooped. <laughs> We're not surprised though, are we? Uh, Gojo's not even trying right now. Actually, Gojo has to temper himself because of all the buildings and stuff. Oh, true. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Oh, dude. Oh, there's something about seeing Gojo fight. Yeah, it seems like he doesn't step a foot out of place. <laughs> oh my wow. gosh. Even he's impressed. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. He's not even panting. Nah. <laughs> oh, that was so good. He's got the nunchucks too. Yeah, because yeah. didn't Maki say, oh, I hate using these? Or was it Megumi who said that? Someone said that they hated using oh. the nunchucks. This would be why. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> the 2v1 is next level. Ghetto's loving it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. What happened? No, he's dodged it. Rika's probably saved him. You afraid? <laughs> How did. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I love how it's pink. That is the best. Oh, I snapped the blade. He put too much energy into it. Uh... Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Doesn't freaking matter at this point. Oh my gosh. 
Wait, is he using Black Flash? Yeah, maybe it was a Black Flash. How did he do that so quick? Okay. That's not what it is, you dickhead. Oh. Oh, dang. I'm pretty sure they've said oh, this. Oh, no, it's a special grade curse. No, wait, no, wait. Don't do that. He has that many? It's not a me. Yes, come on. I'm, I'm about to lose my shit. Yeah, he took I'm, his time. It's over time. It's over time. His OST's kicked in. I'm about to lose my shit. Uh, just the way he runs, Angelo. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes! Let's go. No, he's my favorite character, Carly. Me he too, is. Ange. Me too. Carl, it's the Black Flash record, is it not? Oh, was it? He hit four. four? Yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, they put it in the movie! Oh, sick! Oh, that was too good. I've got to watch that again later. Okay. She's in this too. Yeah! I hope we see the others as well. Miwa. Cool. Mekamaru. That's my. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Toto? I know, right? We've seen all of them but Toto so far. Oh, he's doing his own thing, of course. Oh, <laughs> this is the best end to the movie. Yeah, he's not very subtle. Oh no. Yeah. It... <laughs> the Christmas special. Oh, that's good. They had a way to fit everyone in. Love that. Well, not everyone, but, you know. No, no. Man, that's really sad. Oh. No. Did he, did he just kiss her? Oh my gosh, dude. What? Ghetto just... <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Oh, it's so beautiful! That was the best part of the movie right there. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's the most beautiful mushroom I've ever seen. That was insane! Didn't Gojo say love is the most powerful curse there is or something? Is that what he said? I'm kind of cursed by Nanami. He's got me a little bit, you know, I'm sweating a little bit from Nanami. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you okay. lost, mate. You're about to lose. Yeah. It's Gojo. Yeah, that's it. And he's in, like, full health as well. Oh wow, okay, so that's why he let some of them live. They were close. Yeah. <sighs> All of his smiling's fake. Okay. But now what happens to him? Someone puts him back together. Like Frankenstein, that's why he's got the stitches on his face. Oh. 
Oh, so this is where he is in season one. Oh, he runs off. Oh, oh, what? It explains why he's so strong. It was him. Oh, I know that's not what I said. Gosh. Blames himself. If that ain't closure for him, I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a really nice way to end the movie, I reckon. Mm. So the zero is like the ring, is it? Aww. Is that what it is? It's going to have something to do with Panda. No, I'm pretty sure this is where Akotsu is during season one. Aww. It's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> no, no. Who is it? The Gojo? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you can't hang out with him. <laughs> no, it looks like he's recruited him. It's Miguel on our side now. Oh, what? <laughs> that was good. I didn't expect to be sad. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually know what I was expecting. I didn't expect like a romance to be at the center of it because I don't really think it was apparent really that much in season one so this was like a different vibe yeah i thought it was really good i kind of think it ticked all boxes you know you had your emotional scenes your hype scenes but then i liked the fact that they put a lot of easter eggs in from season one yeah i didn't pick up on all of them i don't think but there were a few so there was the black flash record with nanami i'm pretty sure yeah i think it was what the heck so cool <laughs> uh and then i'm pretty sure when they referred to this event, they were saying that Toto or Toto was saying that he defeated a special grade at this event. And maybe that was the one that he was rushing to defeat so he could go see the live stream. <laughs> the Christmas special. Yeah. Yeah. And then what? There was another one. I'm pretty sure you pointing out, I forgot what the weapon's name was, but the nunchucks. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that that's why Megami or Maki said Oh, these disgust me when they used them. Mm. They said something like that. I'm sure of it. Yes. Yeah, so that's another one. I'm sure there are plenty more Easter eggs. And I think Toto even used the nunchucks one time to swap locations with Yuji. Yeah. But Ghetto has the ability to store them as well in the shadows. You know how, like, Megami can store uh, yeah. Maki's cursed objects, cursed weapons? Or he can, like locate them from the shadows yeah oh yeah store them i guess yeah i actually wanted to talk about ghetto because we can theorize about what happened to him because we've yeah. seen him in season one the shifty bugger mm -hmm. so either gojo didn't finish the job because they were old friends which by the way i really liked them finally going into detail about ghetto yeah because there was a lot of mystery there's so much mystery just smiling all the time hanging around being an evil piece of shit yeah and i didn't know why but we kind of like had things confirmed now mm -hmm. he's just a student that went rogue had different ideologies and stuff like that not even just a student he was gojo's besto friendo yeah he was <laughs> that's right so i'm thinking either gojo didn't finish the job and then like you said a, a bit of a frankenstein thing has happened where he's just been stitched up and fixed well you know what i reckon ghetto is actually dead yeah. Um, but he's got like, what, 4,000 curses inside him? Yeah, so maybe he's like a vessel now. I think yeah. we actually maybe theorized about this some 
time in season one because mm. we brought up the stitching and we saw Mahito had stitching and Mahito's yep. a curse. So, yeah, maybe Ghetto some sort of vessel for it a curse. Could even be similar to Panda. You know how he's like a corpse? Okay. I don't fully understand that. I don't think Panda's dead or anything. But yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. it's similar to that. Okay. There are a couple of theories on Ghetto. We'll probably find out more, but I'm pretty satisfied with the story that they chose to go into, like the, the plot here. Yeah, I know I'm being a bit quiet. It's because I'm sad <laughs> about, you know, Akatsu and all that. Yeah, that was that was nice how they did that. But yeah. I loved that. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that that was like a nice rounded way to end the movie. You got your closure there. Yeah. She moved on, which would have been really hard for her because she loved nothing more than him. <laughs> Yeah. The, my favorite part of the movie was actually when he's like, I'm not a womanizer. This is true love. It gave Ghetto yeah. the finger and <laughs> obliterated him. <laughs> because you don't expect like a badass sort of moment to come from Akatsu like that, even though, you know, he's a boss fighter. Akatsu still is very immature, not in a bad way. He's just young and like yeah. what he was saying was expected from, I'm pretty sure he's 12 or 13, Angelo, because... No. The young girl said six years ago, or I've had the best six years of my life, which is when she died six years before, and he was like, what, oh, six? Oh, really? I thought they said his age somewhere. I thought they, was, I thought they said he was like 16 or something. Maybe. I can't remember. Maybe, maybe he was like 10. Maybe I missed that subtitle, but mm. he's definitely not 12. <laughs> yeah, probably closer to 16. Yeah. But he was saying that he wasn't going to go with Ghetto because of his friends. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he completely, like, didn't really talk about the fact that Ghetto was like, I'm going to kill everyone who's not got cursed energy. Right. He was yeah. like, no, I don't want to come with you because these are my friends now. You know, I think he's still got, like, a lot to learn. You yeah. Know? It's like it was very situational for him. Like, what if he had have met Ghetto first and made friends with those people? Maybe in a Junpei situation where someone who's a little bit socially inept and just wants some... Is inept the right word for it? You get what I'm saying? Just yeah. a little bit socially awkward and kind of wants the acceptance from anyone that will kind of yep. show it or lie about it. So, yeah, you're probably right. Mm. He actually did remind me of Junpei quite a bit. Yeah. So we got no mention of, like, Hanami, Jogo, or Mahito, yeah. or anyone like that. So Well, Mahito's new. Yeah, I know that, but I'm saying, so, like, that obviously, something happens here with Ghetto. Like, what exactly happened? So obviously he has a bit of a Voldy moment, like Voldemort, he gets defeated and, you know, he's really weak and everything. So he needs to get reinforcements. Maybe he like goes on the search for Hanami and Jogo and all that. And that would explain why in the season he's so sneaky, never shows his face to certain people. Yes. That's and we why didn't we... really see him fight, did we? Yeah, no, not at all in the season one, which is really cool that they showed that. But it makes so much sense now why Mahito does all the things. Like, he does all the dirty work, mm. not Ghetto. He's just kind of behind the scenes there. Slimy. Okay. That was good. That gave me, like, such a good insight into Season 1, I think, yes. even more. Yes. And if we go back and watch Season 1 again, which I'm going to do soon, we'll understand it even better. Yeah, because I did find things at times in Season 1 hard-ish to understand, yeah. but this, like, kind of reinforced a lot of the building blocks of the story and stuff yeah. like that. And I felt like the movie was like really easy to understand. Maybe yeah. that's because we, I think it's because we came from season one. I think if we had have watched the movie without watching season one first, we'd be like, what? Yeah. We could follow the storyline, but we'd be like, what are they talking about here? I don't understand this reference. Yeah. Like you've got to watch season one, I feel. Yeah, true. I thought the animation was so good. It was so good, especially Akatsu's fight with Ghetto at the end there. <laughs> it was unbelievable. And then the music was really good. The music gave me like a Megami vibe. You know, Megami's kind of got like that. Uh, the serious. Yeah, the somber vibe to it. Okay. Yeah. And I kind of like that vibe for Jujutsu Kaisen a lot. Mm. The characters are so good. They're so good. Like, did you see like Mai, seeing Mai at the end? It was like an Avengers moment. Mai, Toto, all them doing their thing, Nanami. Yep. The whole movie sort of reminded me of Avengers. Which one? The one where the machines come flying. Yeah, it's the, the first one. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good movie. But um, yeah, I kind of like it how all the... Well, most of the characters got badass moments, I think. Yeah. 
The ensemble is so good. So. so good. I was really pleased to see pretty much everyone, except for obviously the new people in season one. Yeah. Yeah, and Toto's entrance was so good. It was exactly like the games, remember? Yeah. I think this movie solidified like my favorite characters. I think I've got three. Okay. Isn't that interesting? Like seeing a different sort of version of the same show, you yeah. can sort of be like, okay, now I'm set. Now I've, I know. I've made up my mind. All right. Who's your favorite? I'm going with Nanami, Toto, and Maki. Okay. I think, oh no, Nobara as well. I think they're my four favorites. Nice. Yeah. I have to go Gojo. Yeah, I do love Gojo. He'd be like in the next tier. Gojo, Nanami, Maki was brilliant in this as well, I thought. I really mm. liked her. Yeah. we got to do a tier list. We do have to do one. Yeah, we do. We'll get around to it at some point. Yeah. I think the tier list will be different now after the movie. Yeah, I'm glad we watched the movie before the tier list. Yeah. Because I had a few characters solidified up there, I think at the top. Isn't it funny? We hated Toto. I didn't hate him. We oh, kind of yeah. like. We really did not like, like him at the, the start. What the heck is going on with this guy? He's got the most odd energy going yeah. on here. But he's actually a wholesome dude. Yeah. Uh, one thing about the movie is we didn't get to see Toto meet Akotsu. I guess like it didn't fit in the storyline and they've got like a time limit that they have to keep to and everything. But that would have been kind of cool. I yeah. was sort of expecting it, but I'm not disappointed or anything. I thought if they wanted to add something like that in, it probably could have gone in like a post credits. But instead, yep. we got Miguel. So Gojo didn't yeah. dispose of Miguel there. I think he hired Miguel. I thought Miguel was trying to be slimy because I thought Akatsu moved to this city, but he was still in jujitsu uh, uniform. Yeah. No, I I don't know. I don't think we followed that end part properly. Okay. But we'll have to get an explanation. I'm pretty sure Gojo gave him the ultimatum. He's like. Be my inside spy and I'll let you live. I don't know. But that was like the first time Miguel met Takotsu. Yeah, that's fine. But he had met Gojo before. Mm, okay. But yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. It was so good. Really good. Are we sticking with the, the ring being why it's called Jujutsu Zero? Jujutsu Kaisen Zero? Okay, so that, that can be another explanation in the <laughs> comment section, I think, for us. Maybe because it's like the prequel, it's like, Season one and then zero is before one. Yeah. <laughs> That's trash. I don't know. No, I don't mind that. That could be a reason too. Maybe. I think it's symbolic of the ring though. Mm. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.